And for those of you who thought that science fiction was some star-crazed person sitting down and making up a whole bunch of stuff, that ain't the way it works, does it, sir? No, it is not the way it works. I mean, doesn't it relate, really? Don't you start on a base of contemporary understanding or historical understanding and then work out from there? We look at history, and we look at uh, anthropology. Uh, well, a, a good reading for you is uh, the number of university courses that use Dune as a textbook. Um, anthropology, architecture, uh, political science, uh, economics, how did you learn about all of these things? You, you didn't study at the universities for 22 years, and you don't have five PhDs. I don't I have even a know hand. if you've got a BS or an MA. <laughs> I have a hand which is capable of knocking on doors. <laughs> no, seriously, how, no, I, how I, did you, I mean, you really must be either one of the smartest men on earth or one of the most curious who finds out about things. I'm curious, extremely curious, and I became an investigative reporter very early on. Uh, an investigative reporter who didn't just react. I wanted to know, I wanted to dig. And uh, that's a wonderful resource. You're continually being educated. You know this. I'm not telling you anything new. But I mean, when you were a kid, were you a scientific uh, a, a genius kind of a brat that no. went around building windmills and uh, uh, winning science fairs and all that sort of thing? Oh, no. Nothing like that. I was a 4-H kid uh, who milked cows in the morning and night, <coughs> uh, who uh, uh, did all kinds of odd things, uh, like hoeing gardens. <laughs> what, what are your, what, as you, as you, uh, uh, we got older, 18, 20, 22, 24. What, what were your reading habits like, aside from being Very a working Catholic. newspaper man? Very Catholic. Uh, I would follow a, a line of endeavor, a line of reading, a line of interest, until I, had, I felt I had exhausted it. Um, I started working for newspapers when I was 17, though. Uh, I had a, a replacement, uh, summer replacement job for people who were on vacation when I was 17 on a daily newspaper. Uh, I was very lucky. I had a, uh, a high school instructor who ran his high school journalism class the way a city desk is run. So by the time I was 17, I knew how to be a professional journalist. And if you catch us young, you know, train us early. But there's something about your imagination, your, the special vocabulary that you've created. It's, it's what I think the literary critics call the leap of imagination. It goes beyond just step one to step two. Well. Uh, I've done many things. I have a very checkered career, and I've, I've looked for jobs that taught me things. I've been a speechwriter and researcher for a United States senator, for example. That's where I learned politics. Um, I was a ghostwriter for S.I. Hayakawa, Sam Hayakawa. Uh, that's where I learned uh, semantics. Uh, one of the places I learned semantics, I already knew something about it. Um, I was a newspaper writer for years uh, with uh, investigative reporter's nose. I'm, um, I b I'm a believer in the high energy life. I just say we have to shift from non-renewable energy to renewable energy, and we have to start taking the steps now. We really do have to start taking those steps now. <coughs> this is what we're looking at. The federal government says we have 40 years, approximately, of fossil fuels. Now, let's say that their figure is accurate, give or take 10 years. <coughs> That is not a significant figure until you start looking at the depletion, until you start looking at what happens when you're halfway there, uh, what happens to the price of the remaining fossil fuel. What? We have the latitude to do enormous changes in this society. We have the energy resources to make these changes. However, these are not simple changes I'm talking about. No, they're not. <coughs> no, they're not really simple changes. Uh, <coughs> we're just going to have to bite the bullet on some things and say this is going to cost us. I say frequently that I do not want to be put in the position, I refuse to be put in the position of having to tell my grandchildren, and I have grandchildren, I'm sorry, there's no more world for you. We used it all up. 